I wanted to do a quick follow-up on this plasma generator that I put in this DF83. I put it in oh, probably a week and a half ago, and then we got the metal declimper as well. So I went in and I unhooked the wires. I just wanted to try the metal declimper on its own. So I have a friend, he, he bought both items, and he just put the metal declimper in to start with. Now he lives in a pretty humid state, so he's pretty happy without the plasma generator. Now I, on the other hand, um, kind of dry, at, it's about to get humid here, but dry time of year and just the metal declumper, mine was still pretty messy. So I wanted to do a little bit of testing and unhook that plasma generator just for like a few days. And I didn't really prefer the metal alone, but I know some people in like real humid climates, they're like, man, this thing's awesome. So that's just a little bit of follow up of just the metal, but since I had this unhooked, I hooked it back up today just so I could be done. And I wanted to do just like a quick, just grind a shot. And you can see this thing is pretty much spotless. If you hit the bellow real hard, you might get a little bit fly up. I don't really recommend doing that. But this thing is so clean with this ion generator. Now, is it really something that you need to install? I don't think it is. Uh, all of our V2 DF83s are going to come with it. But it was an option to buy this. We're, we're sold out of the kits, but we might get some more. But this for people that are curious about the difference between the V1 and the V2, I mean, it really does a nice job of removing the static. So... This is with the metal and the ion generator. I hadn't used it in a few days without the ion generator and hooked it back up today. And I'm like, geez, this thing is just so clean. So that's my take on this. Let's just zoom. You can see there's like a little bit, a couple little specks. But that's every grinder that I've ever had. I mean, this thing is clean. So not trying to sell you on the kit. Just wanting everyone to know that we've listened. We think that it's, it's going to be a nice upgrade when the V2s come out. But if you just want the easy, simple upgrade, you can do the metal. Or I really didn't have a problem with it stock. Uh, I, I found this getting like a $2 RDT bottle. Just perfect. That's all I ever needed. So... Just wanted to help you all out. If you had any questions on this, I saw Colin did a really good slow-mo video. So you can check that out if you haven't seen that on Facebook. But pretty cool. Thanks for watching.